My dear, there is no two ways around it. Some things cannot just follow you into the next year. As long as you are seeing this video and you're a member of this community, you need to realize that some things cannot go into the next year with you. And that is what we're talking about in this video. Hey guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Oluwati Milara Johnson. On here, I'm all about inspiring you to live and create your best life. And that is on what period. So in this video, we're talking about mindset, practices, beliefs that cannot just go into the new year with you. Because we're not going to allow it. We're going to beat it out of you. Okay, I'm just joking. I can't even see you. I can't beat it. But we're not going to allow you to go into a new year with those belief systems and those mindsets. And you might not even know that you do it. So I'm going to point it out for you. Number one thing that is not going into the next year with you is excuses. You always, do, I know, we always have an excuse as to why it cannot work. We always have an excuse as to why we shouldn't pursue it now. We always have an excuse as to why this and that and, hello, drop it in this year. Excuses are what failures say. If you're not a failure, and I know you're not a failure, you're going to have to drop excuses and exchange it for what? Finding solution. So if you have one reason why something is not going to work, you have to look at it and say, okay, so what is the solution to this? How can I make it work? So we're dropping excuses. What the, I think I like the way I said that. How can I make it work? Instead of I cannot make it work. Mm. Mm. Okay? How can I make it work? Instead of I cannot make it work. That is what we're taking into the next year with us. Okay? Number two thing that cannot go into the next year with you or the new year with you is people pleasing. Let me give you an analogy of somebody who is trying to climb up a hill and is carrying everybody's baggage with them. How hard is it going to be for that person to do what the person wants to do? And I'm not saying don't care about your family members or your friends or people that actually matter to you and care about you. I'm just saying that if your reason for doing something for someone is so that they will not see, then you're wrong already. If you're pleasing somebody, it's like, I'm just doing it so that they will not see so that they will not say can stay in this year so that they will not say can just they can stay here because in the next year let them see came also let them see because you cannot keep pl pleasing people number three thing that should not go into the new year with you is impatience impatience is so sad because you are doing yourself quite literally it's like you're in a situation where you can't really do anything to push it further and instead of you sitting down listening to music and just chilling and waiting till you can get your results you're pacing about, you're insulting people, fighting people, you know, destroying your energy, destroying the mood around you. Instead, you can just literally just sit down, listen to music or sit down, watch a movie and eat popcorn. But no, you want to disturb yourself. Impatience is like, that's an analogy for impatience. Impatience is you disturbing yourself um, to push something that you actually literally cannot push for that. So practice, learn, cultivate patience as we are moving into this next year together. Okay, thank you. Listen to me, you're too much of a body to have low self-esteem. So number four or number five or whatever number this is, low self-esteem is not going with us into the new year. And I know it's not easy for you to dump it and just, you know, snap out of having low self-esteem because there's a lot of things that has happened that has put you in that position in the first place. But you have to be intentional. I want you to currently say with me or I want you to say with me right now, if you're battling with low self-esteem that next year, or this year that I'm getting into, I am going to intentionally work on, you know, boosting my self-esteem because low self-esteem just it keeps you small, it keeps you in a box. It doesn't allow yourself, it doesn't allow you put yourself out there. It doesn't allow you go for what you actually want. So we have to just make sure that whatever we're doing, we're intentionally boosting our self-esteem next year. Oh, another thing that we're not taking into next year with us is worrying about money. What, what what's wrong with, what's wrong with you why are you worrying about money money is energy okay we're not worrying about money next year it's like i have a calorie here to throw it you know i'm out i'm out here abundance is my nature that's all i'm saying so we're not worrying about money it read really books about financial freedom and all you read that one of the major reasons why people stay poor and people stay broke is because they either worry or fear money so we're not worrying we're not fearing financial abundance we're not none of that is going with us into next year you need to realize that money is energy and as long as you understand oh my god you need to learn about money instead of worrying about money you need to learn about money you need to understand how money works instead of fearing money instead of worrying about money we're not doing all of that worry next year we are understanding we're learning we're internalizing knowledge on money okay i feel like i'm saying rubbish already but you guys get what i'm saying because i'm like really hyped about this particular one 
The sixth thing that is not going with us into the next year is self-sabotage. I made an entire series on that particular topic, on you being the reason why you're not moving forward. And a lot of things, these things that I've said are actually like um, symptoms of self-sabotage or tools that we use when we're trying to sabotage ourselves. But majorly, any form of self-sabotage is not allowed in the next year. So please go and click, I should put, I should link it up here. Please go and watch that video or that series on self-sabotage. Majorly watch the video on how to quit sabotaging yourself because any form of self-sabotage, it's not, it's not, we don't want it the next day. We're trying to elevate, we're trying to dominate, we're trying to, I don't know which word for it, but this is, it, this is what I mean this next year. So all the self-sabotage thing can stay here. It can stay this, this year. You can, I'm not doing it with you guys. And please do not bring it into this place. You guys need to move forward. You guys need to grow. We need to grow together as a people and as a community. So please, self-sabotage can do whatever it wants with itself. We're not, we're not, we're not participating, okay? Seventh thing that really cannot go into the next year with us is selfishness. The world has enough selfish people. So if you find yourself in this category, I have nothing to say to you other than you self check calm. You self check calm. Why are you going to chop something we're supposed to be for like five people? You self check calm. So selfishness is, is just like keeping our world in in a state of doom. Like everybody is just doomed because like five people are eating what 20 people are supposed to eat. So please. Drop your selfishness in this year, please. Just try. Try to think about other people when you make decisions. And I'm not saying let other people be the, you know, the cornerstone upon what you build your, or the foundation upon what you build your decisions upon. No, it has to serve you as much as it's serving other people. But, but we need to be sure that it's not serving you at the expense of other people. So I think that's it. That, that one is not, it's not plenty of talk. My selfish, full stop. Thank you. Okay, number eight is external validation, seeking external validation. I'm mentioning all these things because throughout this year, I've tried my best to study some of the things that plague me, that plague my friends, that plague my clients, a lot of things that we talk about. And one of those things is external validation, always looking out onto the world to say, okay, you're doing good, you're doing great. If you cannot tell yourself you're doing good and you cannot tell yourself you're doing great, on a large scale, oh, money problem. So I think we, I'm serious. I think we need to work on that as a people, as a community. And trust me, we live in a world where external validation is a lot of things, especially for people in the entertainment world. You need to see that people are liking your stuff, people are dropping comments and stuff. But because you need to understand that whatever I dish out, you need to feel that in your bone marrow. You need to practice it. You need to internalize it. You need to just inherently put that value in yourself, so you don't have to look out. Because the more you look out, the more you feel the need to delete, the more you feel the need to you know go back into your shell especially when so many people are not commenting so many people are not liking it you don't feel like anybody's listening because baby people are listening and if they're not listening yet they will listen just keep talking okay so external validation we are not taking it into the next year with us please and please drop it now i have to bring my face closer to you because this one is of crucial importance i too know this is called ITK in secondary school. Ah, more ITK. Let's see next year. We are taking it now into the next year with us. We are asking for help if we need it. You see? We are asking for help if we need it. Because people have things that you don't have. You have things that other people don't have. So if you're going to stay in your shell, when you need help, you're not going to add your egg bam, yo. <laughs> then you're going to like just put yourself in that box and it's going to be hard for you to succeed. So please ask for help. Ask the internet for help. Google it, YouTube it, if there's anything like that. Ask your friends for help. Ask that random person that you just met, like, okay, yo, I have this thing that I want to do. Would you mind helping me? ITK, not, not, also like um, not trying to get even more knowledge because that's another way besides um, the fact that people feel like they can do it all by themselves. Besides the fact that we often feel like we can do it all by ourselves, we also sometimes don't feel the need to learn more. Don't get so comfortable in that zone that you don't try to expand, that you don't try to elevate even further, okay? See, I cannot speak English again. I'm already tired. I've made three videos, two videos before this one today. So the point is, Ask for help if you need it. Now, the last tip, which is extremely important, is that there's no room for self aid in the next year. You're part of this community, you're seeing this video, you need to intentionally tell yourself, 
there's no room for self-hate in this next year that I'm going into. I'm going to work on loving myself. I'm going to work on seeing my own value. Like I said before, because if, if there's self-hate, there's no way you're not going to seek external validation. You're most likely going to try to please people and stuff like that. You're most likely going to try to sabotage yourself, in fact. So there is no room for self-hate. In this next year that we're going into please drop a comment share with your friends um give it a thumbs up elevate my work just you know make me feel loved okay um yeah 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 until next time i'm sending you love life and laughter Peace.